Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is Vortex 259 and as you can see I've decided to do another round of Pachisi. Used another token and this go around I've had some pretty good luck. I got to open one of the chests on this uh, track and I found an iron claw inside. And I finally made my way over here to the southwestern corner and it looks like I'm going to be able to search this pot. So. Looks like my luck has worked out for me, so let's go up here and check this pot. And inside this vase is where you can find your next tiny metal. Tiny metal number 28 for me in my case, so very good. Only two more, and I can get the strength ring from the Metal Master. Okay, what I'm going to do now is finish up this round of Pachisi, get off the board, and cast the return spell. And I'm going to meet you in the town of Baharata, so I'll see you there. Okay, I have finished up that Pachisi track and cast the return spell and I'm now back in front of the town of Baharata. So what we actually want to do now is head to the northeast of this village and find the Dharma Temple and see if we can change our classes. Now let's take a quick look at the map here. You can see where we're currently located. And we're just going to head off not too terribly far to the northeast. Kind of some of that uncharted territory just north of where that feather is and that's where the Dharma Temple should be. So. Just follow me and we should be able to find it. We're going to actually start going to the east across this bridge, just like when we went to the cave of Baharata. And we'll turn to the north here. And that bridge right there is where we turn west to go to the cave of Baharata, but we're going to go to the north. Well, we've got a couple of new enemies here we can fight. Uh, the first enemy is called the Mystifier. They can cast some pretty annoying spells such as the Surround spell and even worse the Panic All spell which can confuse one of your party members. And we've also get to fight a Mad Ox. They're not too terribly bad. So we'll just have Glenn and Pete fight the Mystifier and we'll have Matt... Oh, why not? We'll just have him cast the Firebane spell there on the Mad Ox. And let's see if that works. Yep. 38 points of damage. Maddox is defeated. And so is the Mystifier. And we get 113 experience points. 145 gold. Okay, we get to cross some mountains now. And we have another new enemy here. This is the Killer Ape. That looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Great ape, great ape. Great bait. All right, well, let's uh, have Hero just attack with his whip. Glenn and Pete again, killing the Mystifier. And we'll cast the Firebane spell, I guess, again on the Killer Apes there. Now, these Killer Apes can score a critical hit fairly easily, I believe, so hopefully we can take them out pretty quick. 20 points of damage. Alrighty, whip. I sure do like that whip, that's good. Does some nice damage to groups of enemies. Alright, 159 experience points. This is a good place to grind. So, uh, yeah, you can get some decent experience through here. And we find a castle, so let's go in here and see what we have. Now let's talk to this old man first, and he tells us that this is indeed the Dharma Temple, so it looks like we've made it. And not only does he tell us that, but he also gives us the opportunity to save our game. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, I saved my game there, so let's continue exploring. If we go onto the western side of the Dharma Temple, up this narrow path, we'll find an old lady here who says she's a cleric. Serves Marinan, the god of names. That kind of reminds me of marinara sauce. I guess I need to fix me some dinner after I finish uh, recording this video. <laughs> so if you want to change your character's names, uh, you can do so here. So uh, no, I'm just going to keep my current names. Hero, Glenn, Pete, and Matt suit me just fine. All right, well, let's go back around here. They did actually insert the Dharma Temple again in Dragon Quest VII, and you could change your classes. So yeah, they reinstituted it again, which was nice. This lady wants to be a mage, so this person's leaning towards becoming a fighter. 
Everybody here wants to change their classes. Even this old man who wishes to become a little vixen. Oh, you're scary. Get away from me. Uh, yeah. And I believe in the Dharma Temple in Dragon Quest VII we had an old man that wanted to become a vixen. <laughs> Very strange indeed. Okay, well let's talk to this fighter. He tells us, even if you lose experience by changing classes, what you have done will work in your favor. However, if a cleric becomes a warrior, then changes back into a cleric, he has to start back from level one. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. We get to keep all of our learned abilities if we change classes. The only caveat is we start back at level one. And I believe your statistics will be halved once you start at level one. So if you wanted a warrior that could use white magic spells or healing magic spells, I guess, in this game, you could have the warrior change into a cleric. Of course, uh, you'll level up quickly at first. So yeah, at level one, if you fight around outside, you'll gain a lot of experience pretty quick. So that does make the loss easier to bear. And if we go over here to the other side, this guy tells us, change a mage into a warrior and get a warrior who is capable of casting spells. Yeah. Just like the other guy told us, you'll revert back to level one. So, yeah, it's not advisable to do that to more than one character because you'd be so weak. It's better to do one or two maybe at a time. So, yeah. Fighter can even cast spells quickly because of his agility. All right, well, let's see if we can change our class here. Let's talk to this old man. This is Dharma Temple. People gather here to switch classes. Do you wish to change your class? Yes, I do. Well, who wishes to change classes? Hero does. Fool! You no longer wish to be a hero? That is absolutely forbidden. Stupid! You're so stupid! <laughs> yeah, um... I guess Hero is pretty stupid there for not wanting to be the hero anymore. Well, let's try somebody else. Let's try Glenn. What? But Glenn is not competent yet as a warrior. How dare you ask for a class change when you are still incompetent? Man, this sure is a uh, crabby old codger, isn't he? <laughs> well, actually, you can't change classes until you're level 20. So I'm going to have to grind a little bit before I'm able to change classes. You can see I'm still 17 and 18 so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of grinding before I can change classes but there is one class I do want to change uh, Pete into and I want to change him into a sage but before I can change him into a sage we need to find an item first called the Zen scroll and I can't remember if anybody in the temple tells us about the Zen scroll uh, this guy wants to be a dealer and earn some money well let's uh, go upstairs real quick but yeah, there's actually a tower to the northeast of Dharma Temple where you can find such an item. And it can only be used on one character, but if we find that item, we will have the capability of turning into a sage. The sage can cast all magic spells, and they have some decent attack power as well. So that's going to be my next quest, is trying to find that item. This guy tells us about Zimpangu, the golden country, off into the far east, I guess. So if that's true, he'd do anything to go there. And you can find a priest up here who will change your, uh, or actually heal you of poison. You know, typical priest services should you need it. And really cheap inn is available here. You can rest up for eight gold coins a night. So let's do that real quick. There we go. Yeah, that's really cheap. So this is a good place to grind. And there's actually one more thing I want to get here in the Dharma Temple. I think. Let's see. If you check at the base of this statue, you can find another tiny metal. Tiny metal number 29. Very cool. All right, well, let's go see if we can find that tower and see if we can find us a Zen scroll. And uh, the tower is actually to the north of Dharma Temple, so let's go through the mountains here. That was a battle with some more grape apes, or, I mean, killer apes. So yeah, let's continue north. Uh, should almost be there. And here it is. This is called the Tower of Garuna. And actually, before we go explore this tower, I do want to do some level grinding. I'm going to try to get everybody close to level 20 before the next time we meet, so that after we complete the tower, I'll have the ability to change classes. So yeah, next time we meet, we'll go through the Tower of Garuna, see if we can find the Zen Scroll. That will enable us to become a sage and we'll be making some pretty good progress in this game.
So thank you for watching today's episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is Vortex259. Have yourselves a great day. See you next time.